Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be checking out the Volkswagen e-Golf, Volkswagen's electric Golf. So purely EV uh, and we're going to go ahead and take it for a test drive. First thing, you know, checking for visibility, looking out the front looks fine, to the sides looks great, out the rear, honestly visibility is great all the way around and uh, this is something that looks just like the interior of the other Golf as far as visibility. Plenty of visibility, you're not really compromising in any way there. Now as far as the interior, uh, nice wide seats, comfortable, decent amount of cushion to them. I've got plenty of room for my legs so they're not coming into contact with anything. Uh, I can adjust the steering column there to get the wheel a little bit closer to me. And you know, uh, the interior very functional, I like that about Volkswagens. So infotainment wise, you know, same setup as really any other Golf out there. So let's go ahead and take it for a quick test drive. We've got it in drive, and you know the weird thing about these electric cars is when you put it in drive there's no signal, you know, you don't get the gear shift or, and you don't hear the engine starting up. So it's just kind of a weird sensation at first, uh, but definitely something you get used to, you know, drive golf carts or something like that. Golf carts, good pun, huh? You can see little coils in the windshield, so it looks like it has a heated front windshield. Very nice for the winter, you know, you get snow covering it or ice, something like that. Uh, and you know, it doesn't really retract from visibility, you can just barely see it. Uh, in fact, I probably wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for someone at Land Rover who told me that it existed. Um, different technology, of course, but they use the same stuff. Uh, so, go ahead and take this for a little spin. Steering, very effortless, and that's a similar feel to the other Volkswagens out there. You know, not much effort required to get this thing to turn. It does feel pretty responsive, so, you know, once you start turning, it feels pretty instantaneous. Uh, the brake pedal feel seems a little heavy, uh, and I'll, of course, get a better feel as I go throughout this test drive. So far, though, feels fine, uh, and I do like this. You know, you don't really feel like you're giving anything up with this vehicle. You still have plenty of cargo space. Uh, you know, you can fit passengers in the rear. Let's see what it's like when I put my foot down. Yeah, good torque to it. Fun little zippy car. And you know, these don't weigh all that much. So it's pretty impressive how they've kept the weight down in these electric vehicles, even with the big batteries on board uh, and the electric motors. I'll go ahead and get another pull in right here. Yeah, just a really smooth power delivery, good amount of torque. I wouldn't say quite as much as that Chevy Spark which I tested, but aside from that, it feels on par with everything else. It's got a nice amount of torque when you put your foot down. Now as far as noise and vibration, not too much road noise. Uh, you do hear a little bit of the tires. I don't really hear any wind, but I'm not going all that fast. And as far as vibration, you know, it seems to be pretty well dampened out through the suspension. I don't feel a whole lot through the seat. I do feel a little in the brake pedal as I was going over those bumps, but nothing too major. And when you let off the gas pedal, you know what, you don't really feel any regen or things like that. It's not kind of uh, an unintuitive feel to it. It feels very similar to any other car out there where you let off the gas and it just kind of starts to coast. But man, it can pull if you put your foot down. You know, these electric vehicles, it's definitely going to be something debated as far as, like, does it make sense? And the price obviously keeps them out of reach, but with the federal incentives, you can get into these kind of cars. And, you know, they're pretty cool. Honestly, having all that torque available at the bottom end isn't something you're going to be used to with a gasoline engine. And so it's a totally different experience from that perspective where, you know, I'm at a low speed right now. I put my foot down and we're off. I mean, we're moving very quickly. And so that's just a, a new experience where you don't have to wait for it to shift or to get into higher RPMs or things like that to get the power out. These cars are very quick from the get-go and that's just a fun thing about them. So brake pedal, yeah, I'm going to continue to say that it is a little bit firm. You know, perhaps you do feel a little bit of that regen kicking in uh, and that kind of adds to the firmness of it. But overall it feels fine, you know, it's definitely something you can get used to and, you know, the, the ride experience itself, very comfortable, uh, decent road noise levels. Of course I'm on a steel bridge right now so it's making it seem different than it really is. But overall, you know, it's a comfortable experience, it's nice, it's practical. I don't really have any huge faults with this other than, you know, it's going to be a bit of a more expensive purchase than going over for the gasoline counterpart. 